weed, chongke, grass, joint, pot, damo, dubi, at Mary Jane. Ilan lamang yan sa mga pangalan na kilala ang cannabis o marijuana. Pero ano nga ba ang marijuana at ang medical uses nito? At posible kayang maging legal ito sa Pilipinas? Here's what you need to know. Kung ang Miss Universe may sagot sa tanong na what is your opinion on the legalization of marijuana? Ano naman ang say ng presidential candidates na humihingi ng inyong boto sa darating na Mayo? Sang-ayon ka ba sa legalization ng medical marijuana for medicinal or medical purposes? For medical purposes. Cannabis, or what we call here in the Philippines, marijuana, comes from a group of shrubs. So the most common of which would be medical, that is used for medical marijuana are cannabis sativa, and another one is the hemp, na ginagamit natin for other purposes, which is cannabis indica. So medical uses of marijuana comes from the various parts of the plant. The components of the plant that are medically active and clinically active would be the THC, which we all know as delta tetrahydrocannabinol, the one that causes the psychoactive component of the plant. And the component of the plant that has the most medical use would be cannabidiol, which when extracted confers all of the medical effects that is found in the plant. For a pharmaceutically acceptable medical cannabis, it should contain mostly cannabidiol. And regulation says that for it to become pharmaceutically acceptable, it should be less than 0.3% THC. Cannabis, ang most commonly cultivated, trafficked, and abused psychoactive substance sa buong mundo according to the World Health Organization. Ayon naman sa United Nations, mayroong estimated na isang daan at siyam na put dalawang milyong tao ang gumagamit nito worldwide, making it the most used illicit drug noong 2018. Pagdating ng 2019, ang halos 200 million people na gumamit ng cannabis account for 4% of the global population. Dito sa Pilipinas, sa mga illegal drugs, methamphetamine ang numero unong ginagamit habang pumapangalawa ang marijuana. Sa ngayon, illegal ang marijuana and yet sa rehab centers natin, napakataas pa rin ang marijuana use, no? ang admissions. Number two, second only to shabu, no? to uh, methamphetamine. So, hirap pa rin tayong regulate considering na illegal siya. No? So, what more pag nilegalize natin? 46 countries in the world now permit the use of cannabis or cannabis-derived drugs for medical reasons. May ilang bansa naman ang nagsabatas na pwede itong magamit para sa recreational use, gaya ng Uruguay sa Latin America, Canada sa North America, Malta sa Europe, at South Africa. Sa Thailand, sa Asia, legal na ang medical at research use nito. May mga bansa ring decriminalized na ang paggamit nito habang tolerated naman sa iba tulad sa Netherlands. Legal na rin ang marijuana sa 18 states sa Amerika as of January 2022. Isa ang United Kingdom sa mga bansang legal na ang paggamit ng medical marijuana. Ang controversial na substance, unti-unti na rin nagiging pagten ng popular and trendy health culture in the form of cannabidiol o CBD oil. Ang voting ito ay naglalaman ng CBD o cannabidiol. Mayroong mga bansa na pwede na itong mabili sa mga shops, kagaya ng holistic o wellness store. Ang CBD oil madalas ginagamit bilang pain reliever, food supplement, or yung tulad ng ibang gamit ng essential oils. This particular one is a food enhancer. Doesn't really smell like anything. Pero yung consistency niya, it's like a very thin oil. Pero mahigpit pa rin itong ipinagbabawal sa Pilipinas. CBD oil and other raw materials for marijuana are still banned in the Philippines. At ang sino mang magtangkang magpasok nito could face charges for violating the Republic Act 
9165 or the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act. Very strict ang laws natin. No? If, if you look at uh, RA 9165, ano yan, usually minimum of 6 years, then 20 years, and then life agad. Depending on the volume of uh, substances dun sa individual. No? So again, jail time. No jail time. Ang problem is, for example, is the flagging of jails. Ang solusyon is hindi naman illegalize ang marijuana. Ayon kay Dr. Peter Kilala, isang advocate at educator when it comes to medical marijuana, ilan lamang sa medical use ng marijuana ang potential treatment of seizures sa epileptic patients at pain relief para sa mga may cancer o sumasa ilalim sa chemotherapy. Nagagamit nito para sa may mga neurological conditions tulad ng Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and multiple sclerosis. At nakakatulong rin sa migraines, anxiety, depression, at insomnia. We also use that for palliative care, end of life, to make themselves comfortable during those times. And these people cannot wait for the legalization of medical cannabis. They are dying every day and they are dying without dignity. Kung sasabihin mo sa akin, sa dulo ng bundok, mahanap ko yung marijuana na gamot sa anak ko, akitin ko yung bundok na yun. Kahit sabihin mo pa sa akin na maraming nakaharang na bato doon, bilang magulang, babasagin ko yung mga bato na yun. Siyempre, you have to look for options, di ba? So, yun yung gusto namin sabihin, that walang option sa ngayon na binigay sa amin. May gamot pero hindi siya nakokontrol. So, gusto namin subukan ito at sana wag po sana kami pikilan na subukan ito. It's long overdue. Siya naman si Dr. Donabel Kunanan, ang spokesperson ng Philippine Cannabis Compassion Society at parent ng isang pasyenteng mayroong intractable epilepsy. Para kay Doc Kunanan, personal ang labang ito. So we believe that the use of medical cannabis is very important issue and the right of every individual, especially to Filipino, to have an access to this kind of medications. To be very exact about it, we are pushing for an affordable, safe and available medical cannabis. Noong 2020, kinilala ng UN Commission on Narcotic Drugs ang therapeutic uses at medical value ng cannabis at tinanggal ito sa listahan ng Schedule 4 of the 1961 Single Convention on Narcotic Drugs. Schedule 1 pa rin siya sa UN Conventions. Ibig sabihin, dangerous drugs pa rin siya. Kasi nga, yung marijuana as a whole contains so many cannabinoids, no? hundreds of cannabinoids. And UN, Commission on Narcotic Drugs, only saw evidence for medical use on one specific cannabinoid. Yun lang CBD, yung cannabidiol. Despite the reclassification, walang nabago sa regulations nito sa Pilipinas at nananatiling nakabinbin ang ilang bill sa Kongreso para sa legalization ng medical marijuana simula pa noong 2014. Noong January 2019, Sa 17th Congress, naaprubahan na sa third and final reading sa House of Representatives ang Bill 6517 o the Act Providing Compassionate and Right of Access to Medical Cannabis and Expanding Research into its Medicinal Properties and for Other Purposes. Hindi rin ito surprising dahil kahit mismong ang nooy House Speaker Gloria Macapagal Arroyo na co-author ng Naturang Bill attests to how medical marijuana helped her ease pain from her cervical spine problem. Sa kabila nito, hindi sumulong ang Naturang Batas sa Senado. Isa sa mga naging roadblocks nito ay ang pagpapalit ng opinion ni President Rodrigo Duterte sa Naturang Issue. Isa pa sa mga argumento ay ang sinasabing allowed na raw ang paggamit ng marijuana for legitimate medical needs sa bansa. The law, RA 9165 or the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002, also allows the board to add or remove substances in the list of dangerous drugs. So lalo na kung for medical use, as early as September 2020, the Dangerous Drugs Board issued Board Regulation Number 3. No, allowing the use of medications containing cannabidiol, CBD, but with only 0.1% THC, no, yung tetrahydrocannabinol. Yung mga products na yon, 
pwede nilang i-request sa FDA na ipasok sa Pilipinas. Again, yung attachments, no, yung prognosis, yung doktor para ma-monitor kung sino yung doktor na nag-handle dun sa ating pasyente, no. Gaano karami yung nais niyang ipasok. Isusulat nila yon at isasubmit sa FDA. While it is true that we have a certain profession by the FDA and this is called um, CSP or the Compassion Special Permit that is given to an orphan drug. So this specific given by the FDA is actually open to everyone to access including the use of medical marijuana. Epidiolex until this very day is the only product approved by the FDA for you to be able to access medical marijuana under the Compassion Special Permit. This will cost you around 32,000 US dollars. That's about 1.4 million to 1.6 million. How can you say it's compassionate if from the price itself lang, it's very incompassionate? Ayon sa clinical research section ng FDA, as of February 2022, tatlong applications pa lamang ang natatanggap ng ahensya. At isang compassionate special permit for patient use lang ang kanilang na-authorize para sa cannabis-derived medicines. It's meant to fail <laughs> with that kind of regulation. So, sabi ng FDA, sa US, 0.3% is allowable. Okay, pero sa atin, hindi pwede. So, that means, mahirap mag-angkat ng cannabidiol na almost pure na 0.1 ang THC if it comes from the United States. They cannot apply because yung components nga nun, hindi makukompleto. It's not being taught in medicine here in the Philippines. So if it's not taught here in the Philippines, so who is competent to prescribe the medication? Kasabay ng pagsulong sa legalization ng medical marijuana ay ang pagsusulong rin ng research centers para rito. Pero mas mainit ang debate kung papahintulutan ba ang pag-cultivate ng local varieties ng marijuana sa Pilipinas. Yung regulatory framework mula sa pagtatanim, kung sino yung magtatanim, hanggang kung sino magmamanufacture, sino lang ang magpaproduce, sino lang ang magdidispense, and bago siya makarating sa amin na end user. Hindi naman kami mapunta kung, kung kanikaninong underground na sources. If you use local cultivars that are available here, they just have to regulate those who will be allowed to cultivate for the purposes of making a cheaper formulation for the Philippine population. Medical marijuana will be safer if you have the products manufactured here and we can regulate the amount of THC that they want, which is 0.1%. May danger kasi, yun nga, yung magkukultivate pa tayo. Ngayon nga, illegal kung saan-saan mo nakikita yung marijuana eh. Sa pagpapalit ng administrasyon, Mabago nga kaya ang opinion ng mga mambabatas tungkol dito. Rest assured, government is here for the welfare of the people. Pagkailangan natin, I mean, at beneficial yan, may ebidensya, no, supported by science. Bakit hindi? Sino pong ayaw niyan? Again, para sa ikabubuti ng ating mamayan. But we're very careful with regards to marijuana. There's no question if it's aligned with science because there are already a lot of evidences in the use of medical cannabis. Right now, our government, I think, are easing up on uh, medical cannabis. So as they ease up on their regulations and their hold, on the evils of marijuana, I hope that they will understand that there is really an urgency and a need for medical cannabis. In a culture and government that has demonized the use of marijuana for so long, may puwang nga bang makita ang tulong at pakinabang nito? Ako si Zay Arguelles, GMA News.